Hey everybody, welcome to this stream through of Crusader Kings 2. I've got all the DLC that are out right now. The newest DLC is The Reaper's Due for anyone watching this in the future, because I'm sure there'll be more DLC. I'm gonna play as Novgorod today and have a bunch of fun. It seems like a lot of the chat has never seen this game before. It's gonna be very casual. I am not a great player of this game, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna be Novgorod, gonna be trying to, uh, gonna be trying to create Muscovy and Russia. And, uh, probably somewhere along the way, we'll completely mess everything up, and we'll just end up sleeping around with everybody, because welcome to Crusader Kings 2, the baby murdering incest simulator, as everybody calls it. So, uh, play. Okay, so, if, is there anything I want to change here? So, we're gonna go in Iron Man mode, which means we can't save scum. Uh, it does enable achievements, which is nice. Uh, there's a thing, I think, near the bottom. Cultural title names. I always have this turned off so that everything is named after the English names, because you can have it so cultural title names is on so that everything is named after the local name of the province. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that, because then it'll, I won't be able to pronounce the name of any given place. So instead I have it turned off so it's English names, which is way easier for me. And Karen Ketter reminding everybody that you can now support me on TAD because it now works on browsers as of today. Link in the description. Um, Shattered Retreat I also have turned off, which is a type of retreating that most players find really tedious. I find it really tedious as well. Uh, I want to turn off Sunset Invasion. The Sunset Invasion is a DLC that makes the Aztecs invade Western Europe. It really fucks with the game, so I'm not going to bother having it. The rest of things, you know, just historical. Reapers do. That's like uh, minor epidemics of disease that will be on default. You know, disease outbreaks. It happens. So with ma uh, major epidemics. Uh, Mongol invasion is historical, so at the point when they really hit their peak, they'll get their bonuses and everything. Turkish conquer conquerors, all of this stuff, like everything else should be pretty default here. So I'm going to start game. I do have this on a solid state hard drive, so it should load a lot faster and play a lot faster than it normally would, because this is the kind of game that gets bottlenecked by hard drives a lot. Uh, so the save file is going to be stream Russia, because we're going to try and make Russia. All right, it's uh, it's getting the game ready. So our stats at the beginning are randomized. So let's hope we're not uh, a gay person who is infertile, because that would really suck for making a dynasty. Okay, so anything we need to know? Our culture does not give us any special features. We are a tribe, so it's really easy for us to justify wars, but we're pretty disorganized. It's really hard to keep our land on succession rights and everything. And we are uh, polytheistic Slav and a uh, bunch of Slavs. We don't have an organized religion, so not going to make a whole lot of money out of that. Now, we really want to try and become Catholic as soon as we can. If we can get any major organized religion, it'll count as a really early way of reforming our religion to get more organized. You could also just do it by reforming paganism, but that's a lot harder than just bringing in something like Christianity. So if we can get anyone Christian in our place, we're having them educate our kids because we want to become a Christian nation when possible. Or really anything that's not tribal. We got what a geek with us though to uh, take care of chat liaison duties. He's also new to the game, so. Uh, a lot of people are just creating hashtags. Awesome. Such as, uh, hashtag delete MDB, hashtag MDB is totally a Nazi, you guys, hashtag punch MDB, hashtag boycott MDB, hashtag broken Nero, hashtag, where's another one, does MDB is gay, hashtag just watch the goddamn stream. Um, yeah, most of those jokes are based around how I made that, uh, vlog earlier today about the whole Nazi punching incident, but anyway... We'll save that for... Actually, no, I don't even need to save that for another time. You can just watch my vlog if you want to see it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here... Let's, uh, let's take a look at everything. Uh, special actions possible... Oh, special title action possible. Right, we need to set our crown focus, don't we? Well, okay. So, what we're looking at right now is our country. Our country is the kind of light green thing here. It's these, uh, how many states we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's these six little provinces. Now, this is, uh, January 1st of 769 AD. 
Eastern Europe is not very developed. It's poor as fuck. It's basically just forests. There's very little money to be made here. In fact, if we switch to the terrain map, it's just a snowy forest. We live in a snowy forest. So if we click on uh, Novgorod here, which is the capital of Novgorod, uh, you can see our current uh, total county tax is not very high. And if you check the other provinces, it's way less. Um, we directly control these four provinces. These are the two are controlled by. Is this our brother? It's our half brother, who we're in good we're in good terms with our half brother. That's good. So our half brother is taking care of the really shit provinces, and we're in good terms with him, which is good because assassinations happen all the time in this game. You want loyalty. So, uh, first of all, Crown Focus, um, I'm making our capital a Crown Focus. Crown Focus, you can do to one province at a time. It makes it just so that it's your capital, it'll develop faster. So, we want to focus on our capital. Uh, what do I want to do right now? I want to hire a... some kind of doctor. Ooh, I don't have the ability to just go hire one from the decision tree. Good to know. That's not good. Managed to get through the whole game, um, through the whole game, and never got assassin assassin on me once, says Sophia. God, you're fucking lucky. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ruler unmarried. Right, we are not married right now. We are only 26. But again, we're in an age when you can die at any moment. Thank you for following, Little John. So, first we need to choose our focus. So, our focus will dictate kind of what random events we get to some degree. That'll be in favor of a certain skill. So there are the war ones, which is war and hunting. Uh, war is quite purely getting better at war and martial skill. Whereas hunting has a lot of bonuses to your health to keep you living long. There's your social stuff, which is family, makes it really easy to have a kid. And, uh, Karas- Karosing. Karosing? I've never used that word or heard that word, so I'm probably just sounding like an idiot. Is partying. You can be a party animal, make friends. For the learning stuff, there's scholarship, where you're just trying to become very educated, and theology, focusing on your religion. For money-making, you can be business, which is super nice for making quick cash, and rulership, which tends to get a, give you a lot of bonuses, again, towards money, towards uh, keeping people loyal. These are your intrigue stuff, which is very fun. Intrigue is kind of straight up your spy assassin focus guy. Seduction, you're a man whore. And uh, those are all the focuses, so what's- what are my stats? They're randomized. So the number on the left is my stats, the number on the right is my stats mixed with whoever my counselor is for that. So we're really good at learning because our counselor kicks ass. In fact, we're not bad at anything in particular. Our worst is intrigue and it's not that big a deal. But this early on, I kind of want to go war. Are you able to make the stream in 1080 pieces, Hernandez? If I did, I'd probably need to lower it to uh, 30 frames per second instead of 60. So, sorry. I'd rather keep it at this. Um, I kind of want to go war just because I want to take some land early on. But before we do that, what claims do we have? So this is our kingdom here. What do we own a claim on right now? I want to know my du jour claims. Okay, well, there's that. Novgorod, yeah. That. That. Okay, so those are just my claims I own on things. So, Kingdom of Rus, Empire of Russia. So, Kingdom of Rus is all of these provinces. So, this means I have an argument to lay claim to any of this land. I can have a justified war on anything there without trying very hard. So, immediate target I'm seeing is Rostov, which is a small, independent country. Tever's probably going to be a problem. I think they have a lot of manpower. So, what's my manpower right now? My army levy, I can raise 1,722 men to arms. Almost all of them, those are for myself. Nine of those soldiers are from my half-brother. Uh, Tever actually has way less troops than me. I thought they'd have more comparable... Um, actually, our two neighbors here, though, 
have much smaller armies than us, and I think we should conquer them very early. I'm considering immediately declaring war. So I'm going to go war focus to get my martial skill up immediately to do better in battle. I want to take a wife right away. Actually, no, what's my ambition? So this is a goal you can set. If you complete the goal, you get bonuses. Build a war chest never hurts. It's uh, try and raise a whole lot of money. And if you succeed, then temporarily you have more national tax. Not that there's going to be much. Do you, what's your favorite part of the game? Espionage. Look up the ruler of Kiev. Uh, sure. Uh, they are down here, so they're not an immediate threat. It is the high chiefess. Uh, she is 19. They have a minuscule army. I'd love to march over there and conquer them, but it's a long march. They do have an heir to the throne. Not a dynastic heir, so she actually doesn't have kids. And yeah, she has no family. Wow. Kev's fucked. <laughs> Dunk Prophet says, look up the ruler of Kiev, please. Oh, I already did, though. I just did. And then I said it out loud. In detail. Sophia says, fuck him, go to war and kill them. Toss him into the dungeon and then exile them. One of my favorite things to do is take a whole bunch of nobles conquering a country. And then right as they try and peace out of the war... Uh, you accept and then slaughter all the nobles instead of <laughs> releasing them. You can be awful in this game. I love it. Or you have a kid you don't like and uh, you don't care that everybody hates you. So you just throw your baby in the dungeon. <laughs> Usually you get revolts pretty fast doing stuff like that, but it's fun. So I've got two vassals, um, my marshal and my half brother. So what's my council look like? My half-brother is my chancellor. So he's pretty good at diplomacy. He's not really good enough to be a chancellor, to be honest. Okay, our marshal sucks. Oh my god, our marshal has a skill of three, and our spy master a skill of six. We need to replace these guys. But our marshal's a powerful vassal, which means he'll be very upset if he's not on the council. What are you better at? Okay, marshal's your worst stat. Oh, I can't make you our uh, diviner because we have a way better diviner. God, I hate this guy. Oh, he sucks at everything. Do I want this guy assassinated? I think I might want this guy assassinated. He's the owner of the temple in Novgorod. Uh, does he like me? A little. I might assassinate my marshal. How am I supposed to have good early wars with a terrible marshal? Alright, well, until I assassinate you, train troops in Novgorod. Um, Stuart, Subtle Tribe, Build Legend, Oversee Construction. I don't really need you to do anything right now. Right, I want you to change culture, actually. Um, do I have any cultural issues? Yeah, I wish I have an invading culture. Uh, Subtle Tribe's over and you can't? You cannot. Okay. Uh, oversee construction. I really have nothing else for him to do, so he's going to oversee the construction that I don't have the money to do. Uh, diviner. Uh, do we have any religious disputes? Uh, where's the... Here it is. We are Slavic. Yeah, all of our provinces, are, oh, except for that one. That one religion is Sumenusko. Sumenusko. Some kind of Finnish thing. Let's uh, let's finish that off. Am I right? Um, uh, let's yeah. I'm sending my diviner over there to try and stamp out that religion and have ours be in there. Just because I don't want, uh, I, I don't want that causing a problem because the population there is partly not our ethnicity, not our culture, not our religion. So if there's anywhere there's going to be an uprising, there's where it's going to happen first. So I'd rather they be our religion. So I've got my diviner on trying to fix that. So as the real questions, our chancellor is actually a, Decent chancellor. Um, 
He can improve diplomatic relations to make someone like us, and I wouldn't mind having a war ally. Who do I not need to conquer? So I need to conquer all of these. Is there anyone powerful just outside this border that I might want to make friends with? And Kingdom of Russia goes down there. So maybe I want to make friends with one of these. Okay, your army is like less than 300 people. If I needed to conquer you, I could take you in a second. How about Estonia? Not your army's pathetic. Oh, hey. Livonia. Livonia's actually got a passable army. Lithuania has a thousand men. Maybe I want to befriend Lithuania. They're not fans of us. All right, we've got to check our stats, our, uh, our actual ability. So we have Grey Eminence, which is a very cool ability. Slightly worse at combat, but better intrigue. Amazing at diplomacy, better at learning, and we're a little bit more fertile because we're so charismatic. We're stubborn, so vassal opinion goes down a little bit. Wrath, we have the fury of a hot temper. Uh, we are zealous, so we gain piety faster and the church opinions up, but other people of other faith we have a low opinion of. And we are cruel. We cause more morale damage, so we should actually be leading our troops. Um, but vassal opinions down. So all of our vassals actually like us a little bit left, uh, less because we're stubborn and cruel. Huh. Um, maybe I want to befriend the Estonian king. Or the, the Livonia king. Livonian king. Or the Lithuanian king. I think I want to befriend the Lithuanian king. So we're going to have our half-brother spend some time in Lithuania trying to uh, make friends. Lastly, we have a spy, uh, and we can figure out what we want to do with him. Do we want to kill anybody? Yeah, uh, fertility is how often you have kids in this game. Right, we need a wife. Let's let's take a wife. Um, we are unmarried. Arrange a marriage. I want someone talented. So first of all, uh religion here. We are Slavic, so it's this symbol. Got it. When someone talented who's Slavic to cause less issues will result in a non-aggression pact. Right. If I go marrying someone that gets me a non-aggression pact with someone that I want to fight, that's not going to do me any good. Thank you, Kern Keta, for the $30 donation. He uh, says, Hey, MDB, good news. I'll be studying abroad in Japan as an exchange student from March to August. The waiting was stressing. Also, I keep getting a 401 error when I go, uh, when I try to su go subscribe. That's really weird that you're getting that. Uh, tweet at Hitbox. Uh, Hitbox has to support Twitter. Go tweet at them about that. But I hope you have fun in Japan. Uh, I am Loza says, hi, hi Madre, bro. This is my first stream. What state are you playing as? We just, we haven't even unpaused yet. We've just started as Novgorod. Uh, Ooh, I could marry this person. Master Seductress, which is probably a terrible idea because she probably would not be very faithful to me, and I don't want bastard children. Uh, okay. Detached Priestess, Dutiful Cleric. Yeah, these are like all priestesses. I can only marry priestesses. They're the only ones available. Okay, who likes me the most? These ones like me. Greedy, lustful, paranoid, zealous. Uh, oh God. Usually you want a wife that can help make up for some of the lack of skill you have. I think I just want one who's good in a fight. I'm cool with this one. Uh, who, what country are you from? A distant one, sweet. Yeah, you. Uh, marrying into a house lowborn and will lose a hundred prestige. So I'll go into negative prestige. Uh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and we'll be married as soon as I unpause. Uh, pick an ambition. My ambition is to groom an heir. So have a kid. This will temporarily increase my fertility chance, which is really important. Title can be created. Uh, what title can we create right now? Uh, where is it? The uh, Duchy of Piskov. I... Oh, there it is. Um, 
I don't see a reason to, and I do not have the money to, so I will not. That is true, I could take concubines, because I am a tribe. Important decisions are available. What do you consider important, game? Worship of the ancestors? Uh, I don't believe I have a reason to do that right now. Uh, ruler unmarried, yeah, we, we're taking care of that. And we should probably set up a wife for our brother as well. Because he is the heir right now. If we die right now, succession goes to our brother. And luckily, he seems to like us. So I'm thinking immediate war with uh, Bello Zero, which is our neighbors. So if we were to declare war right now, uh, subjugation war, uh, other pagans once in their lifetime with beking, become king ambition. There's no such time limit. That's right. I actually do want to get become uh, become king at some point. Uh, conquest. Yeah, pagans and nomads can conquer single border countries without specific reasons. I think I might do that one. Yeah, if I win the war, more authority goes up and I take the whole chiefdom. I can only take a single spot, though, of their country doing that. Whereas if I subjugate them, I can take the whole damn thing. And I think I want to do that. Hmm. Brother has 15 intrigue. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I, I am a little bit worried about that. That our brother is a lot better at intrigue than we are. And he has his own court. So he might have a good spy master. I mean, we can't possibly lose this war. I'm just going to do a subjugation war, and my next war will come when I get a good chance to. Subjugation war. There we go. The first day of our rule has not passed, and we have already declared a war. So we are going to raise the personal levy, which should be plenty. And what's his capital? I don't think he's even declared one. It must be this one. Uh, <laughs> the, I really want to take the province of Chud. What a terrible name for a province. So yeah, this guy probably hates our guts now. Yeah, yeah, the high chief of this place hates our guts now. Whatever, I think we're about ready to unpause. Uh, before we unpause, we just gotta tell our spy to do something. Uh, let's just have him... Yeah, let's just have him scheme in our capital, just so that there's a chance if anyone's trying to assassinate us, he'll catch the yeah. plot. Oh, thanks for subscribing, uh, Zandink the Super Saiyan, as well as I am Lozat. Lo Sorry, I have a hard time with that name. I'm happy that you subscribed on your first time here, though. That's really cool of you. And thanks for subscribing, little Jen. I thought you followed earlier. You actually subscribed, and I'm just an idiot. Oh, this stream's doing well. This is what I get for not streaming for a few weeks. All right, I think I'm ready to unpause here. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on the troops here. So yeah, they, we annihilate them in numbers. Uh, our brother has made the chiefdom of Lukia's primary title. Okay, so he's just announcing the, the province he owns that he's, that is his primary title, which makes sense because Luki's better than his other one. All right, we're married. Uh, we can either take 10 gold or we can gain prestige back. I don't care about prestige right now. I'll take the 10 gold because 10 gold is like a year's worth of income for us. All right, we're now officially married. We make a, bal a yearly balance of 10 gold. We are a very poor nation. All right, our troops are almost all in one spot. Come on. There we go. Now they're all in one spot. We'll merge them into one selected unit. We have no one manning the right flank, really. Uh, I'm I'm manning the center right now. I don't have any bonus towards any position in my army. The dude uh, handling the left flank has personal combat skill ones. Oh god, we are we are so shitty. <laughs> okay, who's this dude? It's one of our commanders who's not even here. What are you doing? Get in this fight. 
Oh, no wonder you're not manning the side. Um, you're craven, so you're a coward. Yeah, I'd rather no one than you. Shit. Okay. Special minor talent. Can we get another, um, commander? Oh, God, we can only have four commanders? Okay. All right. <laughs> our right flank of our army has no commander. I hope they can handle it on their own. Because the only commander I could pick is so shitty and cowardly. He would he would be worse than having no commander on our right flank. All right, we're charging the troops because we outnumber them by about a thousand people. There's no possible way that they're going to beat us. Uh, February... 24th will arrive on February 20th. So they're just going to get out of the way of us, but we're going to start sieging their capital. So they're going to have to act and be on the defensive in this war. If they're smart, they're going to try and call in an ally. I don't know if they're going to be able to justify an alliance though, because I don't think anyone's going to be scared of me enough right now to realize they should, they should be ganging up on me. Because I'm one of the stronger Eastern Slavic nations here. Smash Gunner wants to know, ever think of doing a series where people comment a free game and you write it down and do a draw or something? The winner gets a gameplay video. I kind of like that idea. I hadn't considered that before. I'm I'm going to keep that in mind, uh, Smash Gunner. Um, actually, uh, what did he copy that comment and paste it and send it to me on Skype so that after the stream I can look at it and remember again? And then I'll, I'll write it down in my notes. All right, so right now we're just sieging uh, the capital of Belo Ozero, which is the province of Belo Ozero. Welcome to Eastern Slavic nations at the time. They're usually just named after the capital province. So they're just sitting there and watching me. They don't even feel confident enough that they have the troops to siege one of my undefended provinces. Uh, the defenders of the Belo Ozero tribe successfully raided the camps of the besiegers, inflicting heavy casualties. So we actually just took some casualties there, which is a shame because we're almost, we've almost broken their defense. Again, no one has castles yet at this point in Eastern Europe, so it's quite easy to siege a place. You can see here that, uh, that green bar there is almost completely red, which means they have almost capitulated. There we go, victory. Now we could stay here. Can we even stay here and pillage? I don't think we can. Yeah, no, there's nothing to even pillage in this province. They have no money. All right, uh, I think I'll just charge their army. Or should I go for Chud instead? Um, nah, I'll keep moving. So our war score right now. You can see our war score here is at green, which is positive, 43%. If it gets to 100%, we they'll just completely capitulate from the war. But uh, occupation one of their provinces brought them down a lot. They're pretty worried even though we haven't gotten in a straight fight. I think, are they going to stand and fight? Okay, they're not running. We're going to have a head-on collision with their army. All right. Our first straight-up fight. God, our troops look so shitty. We don't have armor. We just have these dinky little shields and stuff. Okay, so let's just take a look at our army breakdown here. So first of all, we outnumber them by like two to one. Do they even have- they- we have two commanders, they only have one. Their commander is their high chief, which is their king. Uh, so there's always a chance he'll die on the field. Oh, yeah. I think we'll be just fine. Okay, here we go. We have our first event. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you'll do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? So this is where we get to pick a focus for our our high chief, which is the king of our tribe. And I love these. So master rough terrain is pretty nice. Uh, you can see here, it's, you're much better in combat in forests and hills. All of Eastern Europe is forests and hills right now. Focus on cavalry. We don't really have horses. Light foot which is light foot troops, which is very common right now. That's a powerful one. Heavy infantry, not super common right now. I'm I'm thinking either light, light foot or master rough terrain. Your center is breaking. You're right. He's actually doing better in the center than I am, but his left flank is falling so fast that when his left flank falls, my left flank will just surround the center and will crush him. How does the game run on the GTX 980? Uh, I think it, it, I, I use a 980 and the game runs just fine. 
980 is even overkill for this game, I find. The biggest bottleneck for this game and most Paradox games is whether you have the game installed on a hard drive or a solid state drive. I have it on a solid state drive because the thing this game is hardest on is your hard drive. It's hard for it to process things, all the things in the world going on at once on a physical disc, which is why having it on a solid state is much faster. No one got the joke. Oh, I thought it was a legitimate question. Right, I think I'm gonna take Master Rough Terrain just because like everything here is rough terrain.